Everybody, it's Andy, aka Max Rider. We're back with another live stream. This time we are still doing Alone Against the Dark Redux Seventh Edition Call of Cthulhu. Whoops. Ah. Let's um, do a quick check here. If anybody knows of a good way to check to see if uh, your audio is going through live through Twitch, please let me know at some point in the future. Because I'm always having to check it like that. Just like mm, we've already started. Oh, I'm sitting on something here. <coughs> Forgot to fix the chair before we got started. Welcome back to Alone Against the Dark. Uh, we're gonna let the music play till it's done. While we do introduction and recap, so this is our third session of Alone Against the Dark. It has seen the death of Professor Lester Green after two sessions, and now we've brought in Eric Hutton, financier, industrialist, rich guy, who's been following Professor Green's progress through Alone Against the Dark in Athens. And then in Alexandria and Cairo, where he suddenly stopped with his telegrams and letters. Eric Hutton decided he was going to go after Professor Green. We're going to find out what happened to Professor Green. What's going on? This sounds like the fate of the world. The very world could be at stake. So he uh, did a little bit of investigation in New York, but to be quite honest, he finds such things rather dull. Um, he's very good with ha stealth. He's good with persuading and psychology. Uh, sorry, nose is itchy. Oh, he's actually pretty good with a pistol. Um, dodge is pretty good. Credit rating's good. Okay. Intimidate and in English. Uh, bought a couple guidebooks, or not guidebooks, but language phrase books. And on Saturday, I got the date wrong last time. Saturday, September 26th, he boarded a, a liner, a Cunard Lines liner, f for Europe. And that's where we're going to start today, in Alone Against the Dark Redux, Session 3. We're going to see if Eric Hutton survives, or if things go badly for him. Now he knows that he's going to have to be careful on the liner, because it's very dangerous. Professor Green was attacked on the liner. And as the music draws to its inevitable close, we shall begin. Alone Against the Dark, Redux, Session 3. There we are. So we've, we are on... Aboard the Cunard uh, ship, we've got our activity table that I printed out here. Um, so um, we've got to do hourly, not day hourly record keeping at this juncture, but we've got to start with um, figuring out what we're doing with activities. Uh, I think what we're going to try to do is stay outside, but not places where people can't see me. So I believe on Sunday... Um, yeah, I had this all set up the last time. We have AM, PM, night. And if we just kind of do like this on our scrap paper here, that's the best way to do it. I believe Sunday, we're definitely going for cocktails at night. That's pretty open. Uh, we'll do deck tennis in the morning. I should just write tennis. And then we were, we're going to steer clear of the library. We'll steer clear of the nightclub. Um, we'll do oil painting in the afternoon. Whoops, I put this in the wrong place. Oil, I said tennis, oil. And this one, Sunday, we go to 
73. So let me see. Oh, dice. <clears throat> Character sheet will go over here. Normally players have like one piece of paper or something to, to deal with. And I've got like 10. <clears throat> So, 73 on Sunday. 73. If you've scheduled room, any room, room a.m., p.m., or night, go to 167. If you scheduled ship's tour, make a successful spot hidden now. If for any other reason, return to the ship activity table at 187. So, nothing untoward or interesting on Sunday. So, Monday. Monday, we're going to do pretty much the same. I do like ship's tour. Where is that? Ship's tour is in the p.m. We'll do a ship tour in the p.m. Um... Shopping shuffleboard, shuffleboard in the morning, and cocktails at night. We're going to do cocktails every night. This guy's an alcoholic, big time. Uh, Monday, we have to go to 109. And we're taking the ship all the way to Alexandria. We're not messing around in Athens. It sounds terrible. 109. If you chose stroll decks AM, rest on deck PM, no, or cocktail party night, which we did go to 83. Uh-oh. Uh, 83. Go to 69. I have not been there before. If you've been there before, with a successful intelligence roll, go to 115. 69. What is happening? This I am not liking this at all. 69. The two, two foreigners stand on the deck. A tall fellow wears a robe with a cow. He is perhaps Arabic or Turkish. A shorter fellow, ferret-like, looks in your direction. Damn, they spotted me. This thing is still too low. I'm cutting off the top of my head. Because I'm, I'm up too close. Let's go back to 69 and see how this plays out. Um, they make you feel uncomfortable. Move on a day and go to 187. All right. So they know I'm here. This is bad. This is super bad. 187, Tuesday, is going to be 126. Okay, I don't want to stroll the decks. We don't want to go to the library. I guess Mahjong in the morning. In the afternoon will be ping pong and cocktails in the evening. Hell yes. So this one is 126. 126. If you chose cinema AM, go to 111. If you chose shopping PM, go to 133. If you chose library night, go to 155. If you've completed all these or are doing different activities this day, then move on a day and go to the ship activity table. All right. I've got to extend my ship activity little chart here. Wednesday is going to be 148. What do we got to choose from here? Um, well, we're going to stick with cocktails every evening. Might as well just deal with that. That's always going to be a night thing. I don't want to rest in the room or the deck chair. I do not want to go to the sauna. I've already taken the ship's tour. Let's hit the bridge in the p.m. Um, I don't want to go to the cinema. That's too secluded. I guess we could play some deck tennis again. I don't want to go shopping. Uh, we did shuffleboard already. We'll do deck tennis. Tennis. Okay, 148. Let's see how this goes. I will say something. Doing this over and over again, it does speed it up. If you chose stroll deck a.m., shuffleboard p.m., or stroll deck night, go to 135. I have not chosen any of those. Fantastic. Another boring day. I'll take boring days. We're already to Thursday. Maybe we can actually survive the trip without getting attacked. Uh, this is 148 again. These are both 148. We're going to just do the same thing this day. Tennis, bridge tour, and cocktails. Yesterday it was pretty safe. 148, chose stroll deck, shuffleboard, or stroll deck night, go to 135. Nope, none of the above. Excellent. Cheated a little, cheated a little. Um, Thursday, Friday. I don't even know the date. Sunday was, Saturday was the 26th, 27th. Here, we'll put the date at the end. 27, 28, 29. How many, how many weeks? Half September. September goes to 30. 29, 30. Uh, 
October 1st, 2nd, 3rd. Wow. All right, Friday they want us to go to 192. We still want to do outdoor daylight visible things. We're going to do cocktails in the evening. Um, all right, night, I should say. Let's do, you know, tennis has really, let's do shuffleboard again in the morning. Shuffleboard's a morning thing, right? Yeah. I've taken two bridge tours just because I was really curious about the bridge. And bingo, we'll do bingo in the p.m. That doesn't sound terribly interesting. Okay, 192. Oops. I just want to get through this cruise so that we can go to 126. Have I already been to 126? I have Yes, I've already been to 126. If you've already If you've already been to 126, yeah, everybody has. Go to 590. Okay, 590. 590. The purser tells you that skeet shooting from the Fantel will soon begin. To get some shotgun practice, go to 189. Uh, if you ignore the suggestion, move on a day and go to the ship activity table at 187. We're going to ignore that. I don't need any practice. <laughs> I'm amazing. Saturday the 4th. Let's see what we got. On, the, on Saturday, go to 193. Okay, let's see what we can choose from here. Um, that's been pretty safe so far. I don't want to stroll the decks. I don't want to really go shopping. I don't have anything to buy. They can't offer me any caviar, can they? Oh. Um, let's do Mahjong in the morning again. We're doing cocktails at night. Um, we're not going to the cinema. And uh, we'll do deck tennis again in the afternoon. Oh, oh, oh. All right, 193 is this day. Let's put this back underneath. 193. Wait, 193. Go to 148. If you've already been to 148, go to 171 instead. Okay, 171. We have been to 148. Boom, twice. Uh, 171. If you chose rest and room, AM, go to 167. If you chose oil painting, PM, go to 96. We didn't. If you chose cocktails night, go to 203. That's not good. I am armed, so 203. If you sit at the bar, an elderly man nods at you and quietly asks if he may join you. If yes, go to 142. If not, go to 132. Let's go to 142 and see if this is the same guy. Martini, straight up, please. He turns to you. I couldn't help but notice, old friend, that some strange people seem to follow you. A word of advice. Stay off the deck. Suspect everyone. Stay out of the library and other lonely spots. I've seen these assassin types of inaction. By God. You've never seen him before. He then talks about chess for a while, finishes mar his martini and leaves. You never see him again. Move on a day and go to the ship activity table at 187. All right, so this is our old man. He must just ride... On the uh, on the ships, someone's trying to watch out for me. On the second Sunday is one seven one, which we've already done, so we can cheat again. Where where are we supposed to starting? Uh, on the second Monday you're in Athens. Ignore any checks that day. You're on the second Sunday. On the second Tuesday, if you stayed aboard. On the second Tuesday, if you stayed aboard, you're in Alexandria. No checks that day either. This is our last check. Sunday, 171. We're going to cocktails. I feel like I should just take the same thing again. This man has thrown me so much that we just take, we just do the same thing. 171. If you chose rest and room, oil painting or cocktails. 203 again. So we're going to go through the motions here. But um, uh, I noticed the elderly gentleman again, but this time we are not going to take, we won't have a, a drink with him. We're just going to notice him. He's he's there. The man leaves you alone. Move on a day and go to the ship activity table at 187. Okay. So 
On the second Monday, you arrive in Athens, go to 173. I'm not getting off on at, at Athens, though. I'm not going to leave the ship. 173, 173, Athens. Well, that was an uneventful trip. I love it. I send a telegram telling them to do exactly that the next trip. If anybody follows. No, no, no. Ah. Now, though we've done all this before, I'm going to reread some of this stuff. Um, just in case anybody has not watched yet. If arriving by boat, approaching the coast, you see that it's similar to that to that of New England, with oddly shaped inlets, gulfs, and headlands. But New England is cool, moist, and green. Here, luxurious golden warmth pervades everything. The Greek Republic, only seven years old, ah, uh, twelve years old, because it's five years later. And I found out the Greek Republic is gone by now. Uh, it's been replaced with a dictatorship. Uh, I should have gotten that information. Uh, it still probably t um, totters under the hardship of the worldwide depression. The people are eager for tourists as foreign money is much needed. Your ship docks at the gaily decorated harbor at Perus. Higher up in the hills beyond, Athens gleams beneath the midday sun. Many black automobiles bear the word taxi hand-lettered on their sides. So we're not leaving the ship uh, at all. This tells about uh, Bremen and New York, blah, 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 blah. We're not even going to leave... We're not even going to leave the ship. I don't know what her name is. I should have looked up a ship that was active at this time. It'll be in the role-playing journal. Uh, that goes up on my Patreon. Ooh. Is my Patreon actually... Hold on. There is a link to my Patreon. Uh, role-playing journal goes up on Patreon. Um, probably next week sometime. And then sometime after that, it'll go up on at yogsathoth.com. If you have a membership to yogsathoth.com, it's free. Yog dash Sothoth, S O T H O T H dot com. Um, and you can read it there, but you can't download a PDF of it. Uh, if you want to keep it, you're going to have to cut and paste it. Uh, so you can't just like slap it into a. Uh, I guess you could read it on a, on, a, on a pad if you want. Anyway, on the second Monday, you arrive in Athens, go to 173. On the second Tuesday, if you stayed aboard, you arrive in Alexandria, go to 195. And so that is, what, five? The fifth is when we... The sixth, we are in Athens, and the seventh is Alexandria. The phone is ringing. Hold on one moment. Oh, Mom picked up, so we're good. Uh, 195, and we're done with this. We do need Egypt's location table, so we're going to replace that with this. And 195... 195, Alexandria, Harbor, and Rail Station. When did I get there? Um, on the second on the second Tuesday, if you stayed aboard in Athens, you have no checks that day, but resume hourly record keeping at 1 p.m. And that is the 7th of October, October 7th already. Because we left on the 26th, October 7th. How is that possible? I have miss. I have screwed up here somehow. We left on the 26th, 27th was a Sunday, 27, 28, 29, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, it should be like the 5th, hold on, deck 10, there's Sunday, oh, that's why, 28, 29, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, 4, hold on a second, I gotta get my dating here correct. Um, on the second Monday, which should be the 5th, we arrive in Athens, and then on the second Tuesday, the 6th, so it's the 6th of October, we're starting at 1 p.m., and that's, we'll just jot Alex down here, probably can't read it later, but there we have it, all right. Um, the docks and the rail station are near one another, surrounded by a web of narrow streets filled with shops and cafes. If you've just arrived in Egypt, you can stay in Alexandria for a night and find an excellent room. For dockside eating places, offering food and a variety of entertainments, go to 221. Otherwise, your hotel provides a simple meal and you spend an uneventful night. In the morning, go to any Alexandria location in Egypt location table, which there's not many. I don't think there's any. Alexandria includes... Okay, where's Al-Azhar University? Is that there? No, that's in Cairo. I think the only 
locations in Alexandria are the rail, Harbor and Rail Station and Outfitters and Supplies. Cairo Airport, Museum, Police. We do this every time. Fuzera Marketplace, Hotels, Hospitals, On the Street Food Vendors, Other Sleeping Arrangements, Retail Merchandise, Taxis, Tel El Amara. Which I have to get there through Fuseria, but you don't know that. I wonder if I could just buy a car. That's a possibility. Um, I could buy a rust bucket car, drive out to there, and I don't have to go to Fuzera. Uh So, yeah. But anyway. Um, or you could catch a train at Cairo. The train leads daily at 10 a.m., 1 p.m. Oh, wow. Let's grab a train at 1 p.m. It's 1 p.m. We'll, we don't have to have lunch. 1 p.m. rising hour later. Okay. So by 2 p.m. we're in Cairo. Fantastic. Um... Go to 205. Ships leaving for Athens. Return to America and Bremen. Let's go to 205. Cairo Rail Station. You can get a good meal here between 5 a.m. and 8 p.m. An offensive odor like the scent of manure hangs over the station. Many British soldiers prowl about here. If you've just arrived, go to any Cairo location on the Egypt location table. Trains to Alexandria depart at 9 a.m., 12 noon, and 5 p.m. Trip takes an hour. A noon departure for Athens takes three days to complete. Well, I'm not going back to I'm not going to Athens. I've been there. Moods overrated. Okay, so I am thinking. Um, retail merchandise. Let's grab a cab, taxis, 103, and then we're going to go to retail merchandise, and I'm buying a car. Because I understood he had a lot of difficulty getting out to that pyramid. Cairo taxis on the few main streets of Cairo. Cabs of every variety, from sleek new Packards to old Fords, running on makeshift parts can be found. You can hire a driver to stay with you for the day, or you can walk. Um... Right, so go to any Cairo location. We're going to hit retail merchandise at 38. My guy is loaded. Let's see if I can buy a car. Retail store. The retails accept currency from any country. You can buy most any items. You can also buy hand to hand weapons or handgun. Then go to any location. No, we're buying a car here in. Because in, this might also felicitate our escape. Um, we're going to wait till tomorrow to hit the museum, I think. And let's see if they have a, a car in the equipment section here. Now, these are weapons. I've got a gun and a rifle. Here we go. Um, travel gear. No. Tents. Transport. Motor vehicles. <gasps> Ooh, a motorcycle. No, we don't want a motorcycle. We want a cheap. Ooh, Chevrolet Roadster is only $570. Um, we want something a little power. Nineteen seventeen Buick used Chevrolet pickup truck. I think we're gonna grab a Chevrolet Roadster. That's five hundred and seventy dollars. Um So Chevrolet Roadster we need to make, mark 570 bucks off. That is, hey, let's look it up. Let's see what it looks like. Chev Relay Roadster. Chevrolet Roadster images. About 1930. Let's see if we can find one. Oh, 1930 Chevrolet. Mm, is that the Roadster? Nice. Uh, let's check 1936 and see what they look like. 1936. Or it's probably like a 35. Oh, that's nice. Well, that's a Chevrolet Cabriolet. Is it, it'd be, it's in Egypt. They're probably older. So the Chevrolet Roadster is a two-seater. Looks like it's got a nice big trunk. Soft top. All right. Automobile. All right, next we're going to go to... We're going to pick an alternate uh, other sleeping arrangements at 154. So that would have taken at least an hour to buy a car. Uh, where are we here? Here we are. 
And then, so it's 4 p.m. before we can get to other sleeping arrangements. So we might hit the museum the next day. Cairo Museum, uh, 9 a.m. to noon. Tell El Amara Pyramid is open at 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Yeah, we'll hit that tomorrow afternoon. And then we're, we got to figure out what to do. And we might try to steal the, um, the device after that, because I know that was... That was Professor Green's plan, was to get the device. Many private homes, from huts to mansions, have rooms to let in visiting, uh, to visiting tourists. They are very safe. Each night you spend in the private uh, home, attempt one luck roll. And if you succeed, go to 198. All right, so let's... We'll mark this 198. And then it's 4 in the afternoon. How? When is the museum open? Um, because the, uh, Professor Green just disappeared, just poof. He apparently was eaten by a Shoggoth, but we don't know that specifically. But we knew that he was going to try to talk to this guy. He had it planned on that. Where is Cairo Museum? Uh, open 9 a.m. to noon and 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. It is 4 p.m. We can be there by 5, and that'll give us an hour to kill at the museum. So Cairo Museum is... We are not going to confront this guy. Before October 30th, 206. And then we're going to try to steal... I'm going to try to steal this thing at some point. Not tonight. I want to hit that pyramid first tomorrow night. The museum is open 9 a.m. to noon and from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. daily. It's 5 now, so we got about an hour to kill. Three exhibits in the Great Museum might interest you. For treasures of the pyramids, go to 290. For tombs of the ancients, go to 236. For the Carpathos device, go to 209. I do not want to interview the, the museum curator. I'm already running into problems with foreigners. As I'm sure... Um, What's his name? Hutton would, would say. So 209. The Carpathos device is here. See image below. Yeah, well, we'll show the image again. We already know there's something going on with the east side of that pyramid. We have our own car, which might make, facilitate a few things. The device's appearance is remarkably modern. Its sheen reminds you of aluminum, but the real metal is obviously of great strength. Its glass enclosure seems to be electrically guarded. They're taking no chances of a repeat theft. Need a refresher on the Carpathos device? If so, go to 168. Well, it was... No, we don't need a refresher, I think. You can return to 206, or if you have other ideas about the Carpathos device, if you do, go to 211. Uh, we are not going to rob this place tonight. 211 is... If you want to take the theft now, that seems foolhardy. If you want to hide until the doors are closed and then steal it, 281. All right, so 206. Let's go look at Treasures of the Pyramids at 290. I'm assuming none of this takes terribly long. You see household paraphernalia, combs and tools, all of gold and silver. An empty sarcophagus contains a placard explaining that when the Lord died, his slaves were killed in order that they might continue to serve in the afterlife. Want to see Akhenaten's amulet? Go to 207. I do. Want to decipher the Egyptian hieroglyphics? Uh, no, I don't have any means of doing so. Um, okay, let's go to 207. I would like to see the amulet. 207. You notice a picture bearing the label Akhenaten's amulet. Entry 207. With a successful intelligence or art craft, any art role, you copy a ske the sketch. Um, I don't have any art, so in successful intelligence is 80. Let's try this. Zero 08, that is an impale. Our critical uh, extreme success. That's an extreme success. So, here's what it looks like. Again, with this little... Uh, let's see. There, can you see it? There is a mark... There it is. There's a mark on the right-hand side. That would be the east side if this was a map. So we're going to keep that in mind. There, I sketched it. So we have to keep that in mind. Um, return to 290. Well, I can't very well... Professor Green should have done this, and that would have been probably inf information that could have been useful. Let's go back to 206. Um, all right, Tombs of the Ancients, 236. I'm just wandering around for an hour here. 236. 
A cutaway model of the pyramid of Akhenaten is on display. Make a successful intelligence roll and go to 252. All right, intelligence again is, I believe, 80. No, my intelligence, yeah, is 80. I'm smarter than I am educated. 76 is a success, just. Um, so 236, 252. I've got to try to remember to come back to 236 here. 252, the exposed interior of the pyramid is much too small. There must be something else here. Return to 236. Uh, make a successful luck roll. Luck is 55. Uh, 33, success, fantastic. 287. Ooh, <laughs> we're doing okay right now. 287. The map is a flattened view. The map is a flattened view of the pyramid at Tel M Amara. Okay, return to 236. So we've seen this map. We saw this map last time, uh, in the right in the first one. Again, to the left is looks like the west, if that's where the tomb is, and to the right, I guess there's nothing else on there. But all the symbols look the same. Return to 236. Make a successful Cthulhu Mythos roll and go to 244. I do not have anything in Cthulhu Mythos, so we can't even try that. Attempt each roll only once. You may move on. Go to 206 if it's before October 30th or 300 after that date. All right, so 206. Have I looked at everything to look at at this museum? Carpathos device, treasures, tombs. You may want to interview the curator. No, because that was on Dr. Green's list of things to do, and Dr. Green disappeared before he could, or after he did. Mm -hmm. All right, so that makes it about 6 o'clock, and the uh, museum is closing. I should probably hide out in here and try to steal the Carpathos device tonight, but I really want to get out to that pyramid tomorrow morning. So, we're going to return. I don't think there's much else I can do tonight. I'm not going to eat any street food. That's the worst. Um, Fuzera Marketplace is still open, but I really don't think there's anything there for me. Um, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll go to the Fuzera Marketplace at 134. We've already dropped off luggage. Um, I'm assuming that my shotgun is locked in the back, in the trunk in the back. And I'm carrying my pistol. Let's go to Caravans and Travel. I could hit the outdoor cafe, but I don't know if I trust that. Um, 384. And we're going to have to kind of modify this. To rent a car to go to Tel El Amara, go to 320. To join a ca caravan to visit the Qatar Depression, go to 341. No, I want to... Um, oh, to rent a car. I could have. Well, I own one now. Oh, well, whatever. Same difference. We're not going tonight... How long late is the pyramid even open? 6 p.m. So, but we get information on how to get there. I don't, I'm not going to take a guide. I just want to, let's look at 320 and make sure they're not like, you have to have a guide to get here. Um, oh, you can run a car for a week? All right, well, that's fine, whatever. I bought a car, I'm rich, I can afford it. Did I knock that, I didn't knock the money off of my money. I forgot to, how much I say it was, like 570? $570 leaves me with 34,570, 054, 10 minus, no, 10, 9, minus 5 is $430, $34,430 is what I'm sitting on asset-wise. So I've got a money belt or something so that I can't be robbed easily. <laughs> I don't know how many chances I want to take here. Um, at the Fazera Marketplace, they're open till 8 p.m. 1.34. You know what? Let's go talk to the fortune teller. We did this when we played this originally, and I couldn't get much out of her. Um, pottery and Arch for fortune telling. 
So finding that information would have taken me about an hour. Where's my timetable slot thing? It's 7. That was a... S okay, so um, I, I have a time to go do one more thing here for the fortune teller. Let's go to 318. Let's see if I can what I can get from her in the hopes that it'll be useful information. I remember going to her with somebody once before, and I didn't really learn anything of real interest. You enter through a curtain. An old woman looks up, her eyes wild. You offer a coin. You find in your pocket, and she tells you your future. Go to 389. 389. I did something like this in a D&D &D game one time, where this gypsy lady says, cross my palms. Sorry, Roman. Roma. She was a Roma, but at the time... Cross my palms with silver. And then she looked in a crystal ball and it went black. She's like, get out! Get out! And she threw their money back at them because they were doomed. Mmm, I see darkness. Darkness. Oh, a foul creature lurks holding a basket. A door opens. Something shiny glows. I see your face trembling in the darkness. I believe... I see... She stops abruptly. Abruptly. I can see no more. Then she falls silent. Do you want to press her for more visions? If so, go to 378. Yes, I do. Three, seven, eight. Make a persuade roll. All right. Let's see what we got going here. Persuade is only 60%, which is actually above average, but come on. All right. Oh, oh, 29. Success. Sweet. Let's check that off. Uh, where were we? 378. If successful, go to 396. She calls her brothers. Kill him! He is an infidel! As you wish. I see darkness sent you alone. There is blood. Blood! Now I see ice. As though the whole world has frozen. Now... Oh, how horrible! No, no! I must stop! She stares at though as if you are a monster, and gasping, ushers you out. Return to 134. Okay, we didn't learn a whole lot more. That's a shame. But we scared the hell out of an old lady, so I guess that's something. We're done. Um, Fuzera Marketplace closes at 8. It is 8 o'clock. Uh, we'll return to our uh, residence, uh, to the alternate uh, other sleeping arrangements at 154. And that's it for this day. 154. Ouch. All right. Uh, when you uh, la, 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 la. attempt one luck roll each night, you spend attempt a, a luck, attempt a luck roll. If you succeed, go to one ninety eight. My luck is fifty five. Sixty three is a fail. So we go and we spend the night, and we're done with this day. And that was what was that? That was Tuesday. Today's Wednesday the seventh. The next day, I guess I should say, is Wednesday the seventh. And we are back to locations. Now, we're going to drive out. Uh, we're going to try to time it. So we arrive at the Tel El Amarna Pyramids. So we start at 154. We have some breakfast. And then we head out early for 324. We want to explore this pyramid. And after that, maybe tonight, we're going to steal the Carpathos device. Uh, try to get that, get it the hell out of Dodge. I should hire a private boat. Wait for me. <clears throat> Tell El Amarna. The village is quiet. A gust of wind picks up dust along the empty road. Here and there a face looks out from a doorway. You spot the pyramid, one much smaller and less imposing than the pyramids at Giza. A well-trod path leads to the pyramid entrance. If you have time to inspect the pyramid... Yeah, we're going to arrive there right at 10 o'clock. That's when I'm trying to time it. We have all morning to get there. Uh, a well, uh, if you have time to inspect the pyramid, go to 360. If you need to spend the night at the end, go to 444. If you left your car with the guide, go to 361. I didn't take a guide. I got directions. Um, so, all right, hold on. 360 is where we're going to go inspect the pyramid. 360. The pyramid is certainly old, but not very impressive. Nat. Uh, do you want to walk around it? 
You can spend one hour examining one of its four faces. For north, go to 317, east, go to 359, south, go to 377, or west, go to 360, 561. Deduct one hour for studying each of the four faces. If you study all four, deduct four hours. We're going to start with, we're going to go to east at 359. That's the side I feel is the most. Uh, if you come, came to this side first, Give yourself plus 20 percentiles. Add plus 5 more percentiles for each remaining hour from now until 6 p.m. Add plus 20 more percentiles if using a map or diagram not obtained in Egypt. I am the one that we got in Alexandria um, that he sent a copy of in a letter. So try to roll under that total on D100. Oh, my god. 20. So I got 40. If you failed, you can come here tomorrow, return to the pyramid at 360, or the 2 mentioned 390, or the village of Tel Almera at 324. We might have to do two days for this. So we've got 40, what is it, 10 a.m.? That's eight hours. Uh, eight times five is 40. 80% uh, chance. And I guess the closer we are, 73. It takes me all day to examine this damn thing, is how I'm going to play this out. So 359, if successful, go to 397. Um, yeah, so we're just going to have to get the car and go. 397. And I parked right out front of the pyramid. I ain't leaving it back in town. Screw that noise. If I hear that car start up, I'm going to go get it. Climb up and down the eastern face of the pyramid, examine the carefully, examining the carefully cut stones and looking for who knows what. Then you see that one stone seems to have a tiny crack of space. You shove as hard as you can. It moves slightly. You have found the secret entrance. To move the stone, make a strength roll. If you have one or more companions, you gain a bonus on the roll. Attempt the roll once per hour. Now, we succeeded with a 73. That gives me, let's say, we're going to say it's about 5 p.m. Um, on the what? On the 7th. We have an hour before they close the pyramid. This is going to be terrifying. Attempt the roll once per hour. If, when you make it, go to 379. Alternately, if you have dynamite, I might, I might be using that. Oh, that's what I need to buy. Remind me to buy dynamite, anybody, if anybody's watching. Uh, let's try a strength check just to see if we can get it to move. Three, so it's 45 or less. That is cocked. I got a 73. I can't move it. Um, we know where it is, though. We can find it tomorrow. Let's get the hell out of here. Um, we're not going to go to 311. I think we're going to call this day a bust, and we're going to drive home. I would... Oh, wait. Okay. Which one of these is... Is it 360? That's the town. I didn't leave it at the town. 324. Um, if you need to spend the night then, if you left a car with the guide. I didn't. I didn't have a guide. Let me see what it says. If it says the car is gone, then it's not. No, it says the driver and car are gone. I did not have a guide. I don't know where the guide even came from. Um, so we're just driving back. I'm not, I'm not, I didn't have a guide. I kept the car close. Hell, I probably pulled the car up around the east side of the pyramid, or at least where I could see it the entire time I searched. So, no, I'm not going to do that. We didn't lose the car. That's ridiculous. And it's too unexplainable. I wish they had fixed this part of the scenario, because it doesn't make any sense to me. What the hell is wrong with this thing? I'm trying to fix this, these things I'm sitting on. I have the worst chair ever. So we're going back. We're going to drive back to, um, to Cairo. Um, retail merchandise is open until 7 p.m. No, it'll be closed by the time we get back. So, back to Cairo to 154. Let's try our luck check there. 94. No, nothing for that. So, then, so this Thursday the 8th. Um, I really want to examine the pyramid as much of it as I can. We're going to start by going to retail merchandise at 38. And we are going to buy... I'd like to buy some dynamite.
pack it in straw, stick it in the trunk. Hope I don't blow myself up. Um, explosives. Dynamite stick. $2 to $5. Uh, so $2 in the 20s. Uh, I'm going to buy a box of 20 sticks of dynamite. That'll cost 40 bucks. Is that under my my spending level? I never put down my spending level and all that crap. Let's take a quick look at 1920s. Come on. Here we go. So I am 50, which is wealthy. My spending level is 50. I don't even have to mark off the dynamite. Then... Fifty dollars. All right. So we got twenty. Oh, let's put it on the character sheet. Twenty sticks of dynamite. That's some healthy stuff to carry around. Somebody blows up my car. They're gonna really blow up my car. All right. We're gonna return to tell Elamara. We know about the secret entrance. Um. So let's go around to the east side. Three twenty-four. We're going to go, we're not leaving the car in town again. We're going to pull it right up to the pyramid. Um, that's at 360. I should still get there around 10 a.m., probably. I can't believe it's two hours. Uh, so this is the 8th. Yeah. We hit that at 8 a.m. We hit this at 10 a.m. <clears throat> 360. Let's see what we got going here. All right, you could spend one hour on the fourth face for E. I think we want to go west. Oh, or you can enter the pyramid by going around the tomb entrance on the western side. Let's let's do a quick walk around. Let's do north. These are each going to take an hour, but they're open until 6 p.m. North, south, and east. No, and west. So north is 317. So, uh, west is... Five, let's do south first. 337. And then west at 561. And then north at 317. So south three, 337. I want to e examine this whole thing. That'll make it about 1 p.m. when we actually decide to enter this place. On the 8th. Okay, so we've used up three hours there. 10, 11, 12. Yeah. Uh, so 337. If you came from this side first, I didn't. Uh, not until 6 p.m. Uh, try to roll a successful with 344. Failed, you can try tomorrow to return to the pyramid. 360. I'm, I'm not going to try to to enter these areas. I don't think that's anything. 561 is the west side. 561. Oh my god, there's a crazy map here. 561. Alright, this again is percentiles to see if for every... Well... You know what? We'll, we'll try to examine each of these faces in the hour that it takes. Um, what was the first one? 337. So 337. We're going to give... If you came to this side first, give 20 percentiles. Add plus 5 more percentage. At plus 20 if you're using a map. No, that, this doesn't help us any. We're not doing that. Let's try 317. We're examining all four other, all three other sides of this pyramid. It's all the same thing. So I'm not going to worry too much about it. Um, three sixty. Uh, let's just go in. We wasted three hours just looking around the pyramid. And it feels dumb. Um... You can enter the pyramid by going to the tomb entrance on the western side at 390. We should have just done that. That's okay. It's 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Okay, located in the western side of the pyramid, the tomb's opening has been made into a tourist entrance. You see the vast expanse of the pyramid and the small dusty entrance to the tomb through which tur the tourists pass. You can go in at 376 or look around the pyramid at 360 or return to the village. So 376... A man charges a few piastres to go in, taking a ch taking change from a cigar box. Above him, 
in five languages, a sign says, A tomb of the court of Am Amenhotep IV, Akhenaten. To another pyramid, you pay the entrance fee and go to 338. Okay. Uh, 338. You enter the... Oh, here we go. Here's our map of the temple. We're going to hit all four of these rooms. Uh, rip. You see it? Can you see it? It's kind of hard to see. There, there it is, I think. That's it, right there. Is it in focus? It is. It's in focus. Nice. Okay, so. 338. Um, on a, um, you enter the first chamber of the tomb. On a large placard, you see the plan of the tomb. See the image below. Boom, there it was. You all saw it. A sign in many languages explains that this tomb is of a minor uh, is of minor importance actually holding only lesser luminaries and slaves of Akhenaten's court the chamber in which you stand was a ceremonial room for the blessed of the dead that's 338 the first chamber to study this room further make successful rolls of the following successful cult 312 successful spot hidden we'll probably have to go for spot hidden because my occult is terrible I guess I can try each so we'll try occult my occult is what Base, 5%. So very little chance there. Oh, 11. Dang. No, we're not going to burn the luck for this. For successful spot hidden, which is 50. 38 is a success. Let's check off spot hidden. Uh, go to 357. Let's mark 338, because we're probably going to have to come back here. Use the map to orient yourself between entry numbers. To the left, go 335. To the right, go 381. Okay. So 357. Hmm. Certain of the reliefs on the walls have sections chipped away as if to remove a single repeating figure. Odd. Return to 338. Or go left to 335 or right to 381. Let's check out 381 next. The room is filled with tools used during... This is the dead end. This is only one, only chamber this direction. Uh, used during Akhenaten's reign. There's a report on early Egyptian agriculture and a map. Go to entry 287 and then return here. Okay, 287. Interesting. 287. Oh, that's the map of the pyramid again. The flattened map of the pyramid. All right. And then return to 381. With a successful anthropology roll, I have a whopping 1% chance. And I rolled a 92, so nope. Um, and then we're going to go back to 338. And we'll be turning left this time to check out the other rooms there. Three. It shouldn't take me long to do all of this. 338. Um, to go left, let's go to 335. I do kind of like how they have the map set up. The art has an oddly naturalistic, naturalistic feel, unlike anything you would associate with dynastic Egypt. With a successful history roll, go to 364. My history is only 5%. This is not my guy. 16. No, I'm not going to burn 11 luck for that. Um, where is this? 335? With a failure, you can continue on to 339. Yeah, I need somebody who's who's a little more educated, unfortunately than Hutton in these kind of things. This was the slave's chamber. An empty sarcophagus stands in a corner. Multilingual placards summarize Akhenaten's reign. They emphasize the break with tradition when he shifted worship to Aten, an early monotheism, which roused the wrath of the priestly orders. Akhenaten's... That's the last letter of his uh, name, too. Akhenaten's marriage to beautiful Nefertiti was considered a marriage of opposites, since many thought Akhenaten's elongated head a deformation. Oh. Storied excesses rumored about Akhenaten's court are not confirmed nor denied. Many scholars of the period say that Aten was not the god worshipped by Akhenaten, and that this other god apparently desired the sacrifice of human slaves, or so they interpret the carvings found within this chamber. Try the following skills, only once each. All right, spot hidden. Our spot hidden is 50%. 87. Didn't notice anything in this room. A second spot hidden. All right, all right. 61 is also a fail by 11. I'm not going to burn the luck for this. 
History. A whopping 5% in history, I believe. Yes. 24. Fail. A second history. With an 11 again. Damn, but not close enough. Um, then you can go to one of the other chambers or outside of the pyramid at 360. All right. We did not learn much here. And I think 360 is just tourist trap stuff. Oh, that's where we can walk around the pyramid, but we're not going to. So I can't see that taking more than an hour or two. <sighs> so here's our choice. What do we do? I don't have much direction here. We can go back and try to steal the Carpathos device and hope that we can escape Cairo with it tonight in the car, because I'm going to hide out and then I'm going to hit the place after all is said and done. Uh, my dodge is pretty good. Might be able to get out. We could go ahead and enter, try to enter the east side of the pyramid. Let's say all this took two hours to do. So, um, it's about 3 p.m. Each attempt, strength attempt, takes an hour. But I'm afraid if we enter without the Carpathos device, it could be bad. Um, and I'm wondering if this scenario is a time thing that you can't get anything done until a certain time period. But I think I want to go around to the west side again. We found the thing. I mean, we found the entrance. Actually, five sixty one. Is it 561? Really? No, I don't want west. I want east. East is 359. Um, we're going to wait one more day. Because I want to be realistic, a little more realistic about this. So instead of trying to open up that side at this juncture, we're going to drive back to Cairo which I assume takes like two hours. Which makes it about 5 p.m. Um, pen a letter to, with all the information that we've already gotten. Because whatever happens next is probably going to be very dangerous. Um, I'm not going to steal the Carpathos device tonight. We'll put it off one more day. Hopefully, we can. Uh, what what is the date? Oh my God! No, we we get if we get back by five, we can we can go to the. Um, okay, October thirtieth. All right, we're gonna go back to the Cairo Museum. Nothing has changed, so that's good. Check the Carpathos device is still there. Then we're gonna go back to uh, our other sleeping arrangements. We're going to get some food. We're going to see if this guy will talk to us with a luck check. 71, nope, nope. He's still he's still just friendly enough. We're going to write a lengthy letter that I'll mail immediately. You'll find a mailbox and immediately mail it. Um, spend a night. So it'll be... Friday the 9th. So here's the plan. We're going to go back to the Tel Al... With noting these plans that I'm making. I'm going to the pyramid. Ooh. I will write... I will telegram or write once that's done to try to enter the east side. Note where the secret door is to make it easier for whoever potentially comes after me. Um, that This is all included in the letter. Uh, and um, note that I will send a telegram or write before I proceed with certain uh, I want it veiled so that somebody can't say I'm going to break into the I'm going to rob the Cairo Museum the device uh, and then I'll send it noting that I'll send a telegram once I'm back, but before I look to take the device. And that's what I'll say. Uh, and then the telegram will basically say, have returned 
to uh, Cairo safely. Tonight's the night. Or something to that effect. I've got dynamite in the truck. I don't want to use it on this pyramid, but we might have to. So Friday the 9th, <coughs> we mail the letter. We start at 154, I guess. We're heading for Tel El Amara again. Um, we're going to try to arrive there earlier. And since we finished everything up the night before so early, I figure we can be on the road by 6 and be there by 8 a.m. We're not going to the, um, the tourist thing. What is this? Friday the 9th? So by 8 a.m., we're at Tel El Amarna, which is 324. We'll skip over the flavor text. Every time I do something like this, uh, I'm going to take the shotgun with me into the pyramid. Um, inspect the pyramids, 360. I feel I'm going to die here. Um, the east side is 359. Was it the east? Yeah, it's the east. 359. Uh, we already found the, the thing. Took us forever yesterday to find the secret button. That's 397. Um, one stone has a tiny crack. To move the stone, make a strength roll. If you have one or more companions, you gain a bonus die to the roll. Attempt to roll once per hour, starting at 8 a.m. So, my strength is 45. Um, yeah. I don't want to use dynamite, but it's in the car. I've pulled the car right around the back of the pyramid and tuck it back there so it's going to be hard to see. Uh, facing away from the pyramid, I wanted a quick escape. Even though, yeah, it's probably got an electric starter. Um, so we need a strength check. So here's our first strength check. 26. We get it in one. So it's 9 a.m. The pyramid has not opened yet. Oh my god. I'm going to die in here. All right. When you make it, go to 379. This could just kill me, too. <sighs> but they know if I don't send a telegram, I never came back from the pyramid. I'm telling them exactly what I'm doing, too. It opens. You found the way. Anyone still with you will be reluctant to enter the opening you've exposed. To keep them with you, make a charm, intimidate, or fast talk roll. Succeed and they stay. Go to 382. Oh, crap. I didn't bring any light source. I don't have a lantern. All right, we're going to remedy that. That um, last night we went to... Oh, luck check. Let's see if I have a lantern in the car. 54. That is a success. Hell yes. I'm so glad I didn't burn any luck. Wait a minute. I have a lantern in the car. I should have thought of it before. It's right next to the dynamite and the extra can of kerosene. All right, we're back. 382. Um, how to explore the pyramid. Now that you've found the right entrance, use a pyramid puzzle and pyramid outline. Okay, hold on. Do I want to deal with this? Or do I want to have the Carpathos device first? Um, let's read this. Cutting out the 16 individual triangles, which I just did today, actually, which contain images and letters. Arrange the peaches so their identification letters are in alphabetical order. Do not cut apart the blank triangles that are arranged in the shape of a larger triangle. That is the pyramid outline, onto which the smaller triangles, the puzzle pieces, are to be fitted as you explore the interior. Every time you enter a new section, you'll be told which triangle, as shown by the letter, to take. Place it on the pyramid outline with the small arrow pointing up. Connect to the section you're leaving. Lightly tape or glue the sections as you place them in the diagram. You'll be creating a cross-section of the previously unknown portions of the Tel El Amara. Amama. Amama. Tel El Amarna Pyramid. Now take section K and place it with the arrow up on space 4 of the pyramid outline. You are the, at the dot. From the entrance, you gaze into a narrow corridor, which slants steeply down. All right, let's get this pyramid stuff out. I never made it this far. And I'm just wondering if I need the Carpathos device first. If I could grab that, bring it here. Four is the start. So, let's put these in alphabetical order. I haven't done that yet. So here's our pyramid. Here's our pyramid. Ta -da. And then here's the pieces, which I cut out today. 
I did not know if they were going to be needed today. Let's get these in alphabetical orders. E. M doesn't say up. F. E. F. M doesn't have an up on it. Uh, G. E. F. G. H. Some of these have ups, but M doesn't. J. L. I don't think there's an I. Ah, C. Uh, N. N. M. N. Okay. Whoops, there's a piece of scrap paper. Uh, D. C. D. E. P. Uh, I wonder if there's an O. There is, there's an O. M. N. O. P. Here's A. I. There is an I. H. I. J. K. L. Sorry about this, everybody. And a B. So these should be in the correct order, which will help later. And what we'll do is we'll use a little piece of tape on the back of these to hold them in place. So, take the K. <clears throat> the only reason I put these in alphabetical order is to make it easier to find them as we're doing it. K. Whoops, there's no tape on that. I hope there's some on this one. I have two tape dispensers. I don't know why. So K, all right, let's see. Place with the arrow pointed up on space number four. Oops, some of these fell out. What the hell? H fell out. Here's H. J, L. Ah, I don't know if I want to explore this now or wait until I've got the device. I guess we're here. Okay. From the entrance, you gaze into a narrow corridor which slants steeply down. A strange odor greets you. To identify it, make a history roll. 5%. A one! Holy crap! Critical success, and I actually made it. Check it off, buddy. That's unbelievable. Hopefully this is important and not just, it smells like spices. Um, we're going to put our map here. This is interesting the way they do this. I kind of like it. Uh, 382. Okay. If success, we'll go to 377. It's gas. You are going to die. Is a smell of chemicals used for mummification. Return to 382. Um, if you have no light with you, which I did the luck check for, we've got a lantern. Uh, total darkness is ahead, except for occasional faint patches of glowing moss. You may return to Tel Amara to pick up supplies left in the car. That will take you an hour. No, I pulled the car right up the pyramid. If you want to do this, go to 324 and then make a note to return here. Entry 382. If you're ready to go explore, go to 399 which is the next number on the map. Here's our map, if anybody has. And we've added our entranceway. Okay. So let's see what's at 399. I am ready. I've got the shotgun. I got... Oh, my God. Is that the barking of dogs I hear? Meep, meep, meep. Anyway, um, we've got a holstered pistol. And we've got the double, uh, is it a double barrel? I think it's a double barreled shotgun. The 12 gauge shotgun, double barrel. Extra shells in one pocket, extra bullets in another. Oh my god, I'm so dumb to be doing this. 399. You're in section K. Yeah, I know. At the end of the slope, you see a shaft down and across the shaft, stairs leading up. You see what looks like handholds on the wall to the shaft. To take the stairs, Go to 322 to climb the shaft. Go to 352. Or you can climb back to the opening and leave the pyramid. And th go to 382. 322. This is interesting. Oh, the shaft goes down. Climb the shaft, down the shaft, or you can climb back up to, to take the stairs, go to 332. So this is a side view of our pyramid. This isn't a top view. Um don't have any points. Do I have any points? I got 20% climb. I guess we're going to take the stairs. 
332. 332. Um, God, I wish I had somebody with me here. I am really terrified right now that I'm just going to die. 332. By the way, first you have to jump over the pit. If you successfully make a jump roll, go to 305. If you fail, lose 1 d3 hit points. Jump. I don't think I've got any points in jump either. 20%. By the way, if you fail, lose 1d3 hit points and go to 307. All right, we'll try to make a jump. 10. Holy crap, I made it. Woo-hoo-hoo. Unbelievable. These rolls have been spectacular. I dread when they start to turn the other way. You're in Section K. The stairs go up. Large steps designed for large beings. Obscene drawings of foul creatures decorate the walls. Entities with slimy, open pustules for eye sockets. And covered in gaping mouths everywhere. Okay, we're leaving right now, I think. In the drawings, they use captive humans for lewd pleasures, and perhaps for something more substantial. Your shock requires a sanity roll. Lose 0, 1d3. My sanity is only a 50. 65 is a fail. I lost two points of sanity. This is terribly disturbing. So we're down to 48 sanity. 305. <clears throat> if you successfully make a spot hidden, go to 349. Three. successfully make a spot. Spot hidden is 50, yeah. 73 is a fail. You then enter section I, insert the puzzle piece. Wait. Go to 349. You then enter section I. Is that like a secret door? Hmm. No. You then enter section I. Insert the puzzle piece in the pyramid outline. Go to 313. No. Okay. So I missed whatever that was. Um, intersection I. H I, and that's up. So that goes into three. Neat. This is very cool, actually. The uh, the map and the puzzle pieces are cool. I have a feeling we're gonna die in here. And I probably need the uh, Carpathos device. All right, so here's our map as we have it now. Come on, focus. That is not focusing. You're focused on me. Come on. You can kind of make it out, but it won't focus. There's as focused as I guess I can get it. So we're heading up this slope to 313. You're in section I at a junction. A corridor goes straight and then seems to slope down. Yeah, it does. Above you see stairs heading up. Oh, I do see the stairs. If you take the corridor, go west. Corridor west, go to 371. If you want to climb up the stairs, go to 393. If you want to climb the stairs to the east, go to 399. That takes us out. 393. That looks like it's another puzzle piece. Okay, we're going up. We're being very careful. I'm hoping nothing comes up behind us. 393. You're in section A. The stairs lead up. You're in section A. Lead up to the corridor heading west. Hmm. Is this A on the puzzle? That thing? That's C. Let's find let me find A, please. Oh, these got all mixed up. B M A. Ooh. Yeah, section A. Alright. We haven't added this to our map yet. 
I feel like we're making quick progress here, but I have a terrible feeling it's all going to go horribly wrong. I don't have any rope or anything like that. So let's add A here to our map. Here's how our map is coming. 393. You're in section A. The stairs lead up to a corridor heading west. Go to 308. Heading west. Okay. Or if you want to check out the slanted shaft, which leads still higher, go to 400, or you can return to 313. Let's go to 400. I hear dogs again. Look at that tail. You see that tail? Look at those girls. Look at those girls over there. Our neighbor's having a party, so there's a lot of people moving up and down the road tonight. Succeed in a climb roll to reach the top. Fail and slide down to the floor below. Lose 1 to 3 hit points each time you fail. You can try climbing again. Go to 309 if you succeed. Uh, my climb is only 20%. I made jump, though. I need to check that off. I rolled a 56. Two points of damage. Ow, jeez, that hurt. All right, we're not going that way. Uh, where are we? Where were we? 393? Uh, no, we're at 400. <sighs> you can try climbing again and go to 309 if you succeed. Otherwise, you can return to 393. Let's return to 393. I am not... I hurt myself pretty badly there. Uh, 393 says... Um, straight leader heading west. Go to 308. Let's go to 308 and check out this corridor. I, st I feel like we need the Carpathos device to succeed anywhere in here. 308. You're in Section A. There's no number for this, though. The corridor ends at a deep shaft. Notches can be seen on the side of the shaft. You can climb down to 310, or you can go to 393. This is bad. All right, we're going to go back to 393. Uh, climbing is going to require a climb check. Uh, I can't. There's no rules in here about pushing. Even if there are, a failed push check might just mean I fall anyway. All right, back to 393. We're going to head back and try that other corridor. I'm not the right guy to do this. Um, 393. You're in Section A. The stairs lead up to the corridor heading west. Go to 308 if you want to check the slanted shaft, which leads to higher 400. Or you can return to 313. We're going to return to 313 and check out the corridor there. So we're backtracking now. Um, you're in Section I at Junction A. At a junction, <coughs> a corridor goes straight and then seems to slope down. Above you, you see stairs leading up. If you take the corridor west, go to 371. We haven't been this way yet. If you want to climb up the stairs, go to... Th We've done that, 393. If you want to climb down the stairs, 399. So we're going to head for 371. Is that on this map? That is not on this map. The number is not on the map, but I see where it wants us to go. 371. I should I should have another camera. I just The corridor is slanted downward. It is slippery. If you make a dex roll, 55, you can manage to hold on. A successful climb roll can get you back to 313, but if you failed either the dex or the climb, you at land at 353. All right, so I got to make a dex check or I slide down. That's bad. 55 or less. 13. Yes. All right. We made it. Um, okay. So I'm not going that way. So. <sighs> We've explored as far as I feel like I can safely explore without injury. Um, um, 371. Let's head back. Uh, let's get back to 313 again. That takes us to the junction. Uh, junction. Uh, we're going to climb back down the stairs east to 399. You're in section K at the end of the slope. You see a shaft down and across the shaft stairs. We're at. We still going to have to jump across the shaft. Um, climb back to the opening and leave the pyramid at 382. But we're going to have to make a jump check uh, in order to get across. Let's see. To take the stairs, 330 is 332. But we have to jump back across to be fair. You have to jump. 
Oh, if I fail, I go to 307. That's not good. Okay, we got to jump across. 70. <laughs> All right, so that hurt. To the tune of two points. Crap. I am hurting. Wait a minute. Crap. I forgot to do first aid first time. All right, we're at 307. We fell. 307, you're in section D. Put that puzzle piece onto the pyramid outline. That must be here at 8. Oh, these all got mixed up. This is annoying. B, J, F, G, H. There should be an easier way to do this. Oh, a couple of them got caught under the flap here. That's weird. C and D. All right. So, that's not good. Now, in the interest of moving the story along, I might say a pushed roll will allow me to get out again. So, we fell down to 307. Inadvertently exploring more of the map. 307 is right there. You're in Sector D. Put that puzzle piece. From the quarter leading west, go 395. For the stairs leading down, go to 303. Can I not get out of here? How the hell do I get out of here? Um... Hold on. Let's look at 399 again. That is not good. I might kill myself just trying to get the hell out of this place. 399. You're in section K. The slope. You see a shaft down across the stairs. 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 Take the stairs. Climb down the shaft. Go to 352. Let's see what 352 says about this shaft. After you've climbed down part way, you see you'll have to jump the rest of the way. Oh no. I'm stuck. I'm trapped. Oh no, that was such a mistake. Oh, I'm going to die down here. All right, we are going to head down the corridor. Hopefully that'll take me back to where I can climb up. But I'm still going to have to jump across the shaft. Um, ugh, this is bad. This is so bad. Um... Okay. Let's head for 395. That seems to be the direction where we saw a sloping shaft coming down, and maybe maybe we can get up that if we can make a dex roll. Uh, 395. We're going to die in this pyramid. Probably just from attrition. Wait, I want to do a first aid on myself. Let's check these rules. Uh, I might have to take a penalty die. I don't have much in first aid, but I'm going to try to heal up a little bit. And actually, it's been less than an hour, so I might be able to do the first one as well. Skills. Skills. First aid. Within one hour, it'll grant me one hit point. Maybe attempted once, with subsequent attempts constituting a pushed roll. Um, either will success the first aid. Can rouse characters limited, returning a dying character, stabilizes, characters, yeah, characters dying, is first aid can be attempted once. Attempted, wait. Okay, right, first aid, only first aid is a dying character. Okay, let's try first aid. What happens if you push it? Um. Oh. Consequences, make things worse, cause additional point of damage. Okay, no. We're going to try each one once. I've got a 30%. 30% is base in first aid. Damn it. Oh, I hate when the dice go flying. All right, I have to find this die now. What I roll on that die? It's a nine. So I can't even tell. Um, if it was a two, I'd just be like, ah, oh, success. Crap. Where did that die? There it is. There it is. We don't count dice on the floor. Never have, never will. So we're going to reroll just this die. 69 is a fail for the first one. 
The second one is a 97, which is actually technically a critical fail. So, hmm, is there anything about critical fails? Just pushing. I'm already badly injured, so I'm just going to consider that critical fail. To me, it just took me a while to find out I can't do nothing. Loser. So, 395. You're in section D. Right. You're at the bottom of the shaft, and the floor slopes to the east. What now? Oh, it's another shaft. Son of a bitch. There seems to be no way to climb the shaft. To go east, passing another shaft, and then taking the stairs, go to 303. We're going to have to take the stairs. We can't get out this way. This is bad. This is so bad. As soon as I saw the first shaft and it said jump it, I should have said no, I'm out. You're in section L. Okay, 9 is section L. I love this uh, this whole um, map thing. H. There's L. Here's section L. Another shaft. I'm screwed. Well, I'm going to probably have to push the roll at some point to try to get out of here. No, there's no way out from here. L. I haven't been able to find a way. You can't climb up either of those, those two shafts. Um, so we're going to hit 307 first. Let's reread that. Another shaft. Uh, I should not have come into a pyramid without climb. And I'm probably going to kill myself trying to get out of here. All right, so hold on. So slow down. 395 said, you're in section D, bottom of shaft, floor slips to the east. Seems you have no way to climb back up. Go to the east, passing another shaft, which is 307. Um, for the corridor leading west, go 395 for the steam. It doesn't say you have any way of getting back up. So we went down to 303, down a set of stairs. Oh my god, I hate pyramids. You're in section L. Got it. Here we go. Here's our map so far. And we are all the way over here. Section L. There's, I might be dead. This might be it. You're in section L. You go down the stairs until you come to a deep shaft. You dimly perceive that a, the passage continues on the other side of the shaft. Do you want to leap across, make a jump roll, succeed and go to 348, fail and go to 369? That looks like a really big shaft. If you have a rope and use it to lower yourself down the shaft, go to 351. If you don't have a rope, you can try to jump down the shaft, make the jump roll, and note if you passed or failed the roll, and then go to 369, or you can return to 307. I'm trapped. We're at, everything is dead ends. We can't go anywhere. Damn it. I should have brought a rope. All right, he's going to die. I guess we're going to try to jump across to 348. That's all we can do. Um, how do you push a jump roll? I, can I push it right from the beginning? Is there any way to push a jump roll? Jump. Pushing. Delaying and taking time and assess the jump. I'll do that. Throwing all your weight and force behind the jump. Really stretching for it. Some bitch a push roll is not possible. If one leaves across an abyss, one cannot have a second attempt. However, if one is trapped in a pit and jumping to escape, one could have a number of attempts. So I can't push this. I've only got a 20% in jump. Okay, we're probably going to fall to our death here. But there's no way out. I'm hoping maybe there's another secret door on that other side and I can get out of this place. Um... Yeah, falling down the shaft was terrible. And coming in here without a lot of rope and batons and everything was a bad idea. Uh, jump is only 20. I might burn luck on this to survive. And it'll probably get me nothing. 46! I'm going to take the drop. I don't want to blow 26 points of luck. That's just too much. And I can't push it. So, um, we tried to make the jump, and we're going to 369. We probably just fell to our death. Let's see how much damage this is. I should have brought a rope. 
You're in section F. If you fell down here, take 1d4 points of damage. All right, section F. We're still alive. Where did the... Here they are. If we survive this, if we can escape, we at least have a pretty good map of a good portion of this that we can send on to the rest. Oh, no. I think I'm dead. <laughs> I think I'm completely dead. It's a dead end. We're doomed. I think we're going to die down here. All right. So we fell. We took 1d4 points of damage. Oh, God. Four. That hurt bad. Down to three hit points. Uh, we better read 373. Where'd we end up? 369? Um, 369. Go to 373. You learn that you've landed in a bowl-shaped chamber. You think you can hear the sound of movement, but you see nothing until you strike a match. You stand knee-deep in a stack or pile of something, and the smell of blood is strong. Near you, something moves... This is the end. Spasmatically, your hackles rise, make a sanity roll, and lose one 1d3 sanity points. I have no freaking health, and I fell to the wrong place. Uh, 67 is a fail. I lose... One sanity is all. Oh my god, this place is a death trap. We're down to 47 sanity. Here's our map. Before we die. <laughs> this was the wrong way to come. Uh, I need to start putting a rope right here. At least I sent them information on how to get to this place. They saw all they have to do is make a strength check. The next person's going to take them a week to get here. It's going to be too late, probably. If you climb down here, your rope falls and lands beside you, you are trapped. Okay, so this is just dead end, you die. If you were thrown here, you're trapped. If you are sane and have the amulet of Nodens... What the fuck is the amulet of Nodens? You may use it now. You may return to Tel, Tel El Amarna. I've never even heard of the amulet of Nodens. Um, okay, well, that's not going to happen. If you do not have the amulet, or if you are insane, above you, you hear another sound. In the gloom... You see a basket lowered. A whispery, otherworldly voice croaks, Fill the basket! If you refuse the whispered instructions and have no effective magic item, acid rains down upon you, burning you and eating into your skin. The voice calls again, Fill the basket! Yes, fill it! Yes, fill it, your mind shrieks. Fill it nicely with bits and pieces from all the nice bodies down there. Some of them... Yeah, I'm gonna, that's what I'm doing. Some of them still moving. Yes, fill it before they throw acid on you until you're part of some mucky mess of bodies. I'm filling it. You continue with one sanity point per hour until you're insane. Though you remain on the job thereafter, it does not take long until you, too, become part of the grisly half-dead pile. That's right. It is the end. Well, hell, don't go that way. Good grief. I wonder if that dude is at 348 with his basket. All right. Well, that's disappointing. We're at 433. We probably will not have a chance to start again. But we can work on the next character. She'll have all the information except for this map. Because something wants me to fill the basket. All right. So she got to have a great jump and a great climb, period. Uh... Because hopefully I can make it to this to this place with her. And then we can make these climb checks. We'll bring rope and a lantern. <sighs> the Carpathos device is still in the Cairo Museum. Uh, what is the date? I haven't been keeping track. Yeah, I have been keeping track. Yeah, because this is all the pyramid. So it's Friday the 9th is when I disappeared. Um, Dead. Fill the basket. Insane. Okay. Uh, pyramid. So, they know I was going to the pyramid. They don't know I was going to try to steal the device first. Or afterwards. Or they, Whatever. Whatever I say was on the telegram. Uh, I'm going to try to enter the pyramid and steal the device. Um, we're going to leave this, this the way it is for now. Damn it. Damn it. Uh, 
so he is dead. That's a shame. He was doing so well, too. I was making some great rolls. Ugh, now i got to cross this cruise again. I'm just going to do freaking bingo every day and cocktails and the same thing every single day um, with all these warnings we're getting. All right, Lydia Lau is our next victim. Let's get her set up. Uh, we'll try to get her finished, get her set up before we end here. Uh, we might just do an introduction for her. She is a reporter. New York Sun. She is 23. Female. Residence is NYC. Her strength is 55. Okay. Appearance is 65. I'm going the wrong way here. Con is 60. Uh, size is 45. Dex is 65. Nice. Intelligence is 70. We've got appearance. Power is 60. Education is 70. Movement rate is 9. She's fast. I hope she survives. Last time, the third character didn't even make it across. Uh, uh, didn't even make the voyage across. So her sanity is 60. We do not want to even go that way. And I'm sorry, I'm going to cheat a little bit. Um... There's no way we could have gotten this information, but uh, I'm going to bring a ladder and just walk it across this area. We don't want to enter this part of the pyramid at all. Uh, there's nothing there for us. Oh, that fortune teller was right! Put it in the basket! <laughs> That's terrifying. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, hit points. Hit points are 10. Oof, that's a little lower than I like. Magic points are going to be... Uh, 12. Luck is 60. Okay, I like that. And she's got Brawl 25% to start. Let's write that down. 25%. Uh, dodge starts at 30. See, that's not even half her dex. That's okay. We're going to keep it that way. And a 32 revolver. Good. 32 revolver is at 20. So she's got nothing in firearms, handgun, but we're probably going to raise that up. So we're going to leave that alone right now. It does 1d8 damage. Range will be 15. Attacks are probably 1, 3. I'm guessing the ammo is 6. And malfunction, 0, 0. Skills. Our craft copywriting is 65. She is good at copywriting. Credit rating, 20. Fast talk, 45. She can lie. Good. Um, language owned English is 70. Language hieroglyphics is 20. Listen, 35. That's a little better. Psychology is 40. Good. Science cryptography. Spot hidden 60. Nice. And stealth is 50. That's also very nice. And 150 skill points to spend. Let's get our calculator going. Now, see, on my, um, my other computer, I've got a keyboard that allows me to simply push a button on it and the calculator comes out, which I really like, actually. We have 150 skill points to spend. So. Climb and jump are going up to 60% each. That's 40, 80 points. I probably should get the jump up even higher. So that leaves us 70 points. Um, what else do I think I'm going to need? I'm going to need this for the pyramid because she's going to go in the pyramid. Stealth. We're going to jack the stealth up to 70 because I have a feeling I'm going to need that to steal the Carpathos device. Minus 20. Let's get the fast talk up to 65. That's another minus 20. We have 30 points left. Firearms? She has a pistol. She has $700. She's not going to be able to get a car. I could rent a car. No driver. And pull the same crap off. No! His car would have been recovered. 
even if he wasn't. That's empty. So, I could pick his car up in Cairo. Maybe. I think I have to make a luck check. But we might be able to get his car and his shotgun. Um, and the dynamite. Alright. Alright. Because he was never found. That secret door closed behind him. Um, I could put the 30 points into rifle shotgun. That'll give me a 55 in rifle shotgun. It seems like it'd be smarter to put the 30 points into firearms handgun. And that'd make that a 50. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I really need. Or I can get my hieroglyphics up. Damn it. Let's do the firearms. If I actually get attacked by something normal, maybe I can survive. Um, yeah, let's write down, uh, what do we got? Curious is a trait. Um, determined, I like that. We'll read her background history here. Description, dark hair, piercing eyes, slight build. Dark hair, piercing eyes, slight build. Yeah, our size is 45. Uh, glasses, redhead. Um, what's her appearance? 65, she's very pretty. Not petty, pretty. Um, significant people. Uh, Devin. Wilson. Oh, no, we renamed him. What did we rename Devin? I wrote it down here. Buster Green, Lydia Lau. David Williams is what I named him. David Williams. Uh, girlfriend, boyfriend. Uh, Lester Green. Former teacher. Um, what was this guy's name? Eric Hutton. Professional relationship. Um, that's grown into a friendship. I got $700, my available cash. So I'm of average credit rating which credit rating average which gives me $10 spending level so anything under 10 bucks I don't have to worry about paying for not 100 10 I have a 32 pistol six bullets just the bullets that are in it at present uh, notepad and paper pens pencils That's it. She's done. Lydia Lau. There she is. It's a nice picture. I like that picture of her. Now that focused immediately, but I had a terrible time getting this to focus. At least well enough to read. Look at that. That won't focus. I wonder why. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Nice. We died in that pit on the right side. All right. Uh, Lydia Lau, I hope you're more successful than the others. Let's pull open the book. So we are back to Lone Against the Dark with Lydia Lau in New York City. She... Where do we start with her? Uh, entry 37. Let's just go... We'll do an X and write dead for him. He's good as dead. He will be dead by the time anybody can get there. I'm only going to eat the, the corpses that are still flopping around. Lydia Lau's apartment. Let's see what we got here. You flirted with the city editor, then polished up the national editor. That na Polished up the national editor. As usual, your skills and your baby blues got you what you wanted. And you didn't mind giving an old go to lift now, uh, giving that, giving an old go to lift now and then. Besides, this could be the biggest story of your young life. Or so you hope. 
Headlines sail through your imagination. Miskatonic mystery. Gal Gumshoe tracks down missing professor. Financier found alive. And your byline under every one. With, gl- with, um, with uh, DuPont dead and uh, Hutton and Green missing, you're pretty sure the story behind this one will be a real jaw-dropper. And probably dangerous. Holt's been missing for 72 hours. Damn it, this puts us at the beginning of another week, I bet. Hold on, when did Holt... Uh, not Holt, Hutton has gone missing. September. Hutton went missing on the 9th. That was a Friday. Son of a bitch. So, one, two, three. So it's around 9 a.m. Monday. Okay, Monday the 12th of October. Holt's been missing 72 hours. You thoughtfully... Uh, Hutton's been missing 72 hours. You thoughtfully pack the gigantic revolver given to you by Bruno, the vice squad cop. Girl can't be too careful, you decide. You can leave soon on one of the regular liners, and in the meantime, do some shopping and research. Maybe even a trip to Arkham. I got plenty of time. This is Monday. I don't, we don't leave till Saturday. You send a telegram to your beau... Uh, what I name this kid? David Williams. Aboard the USS Rochester, telling him your plans and that you're... Keep in touch. The sun circulation boost from the story should blow that pipsqueak daily news right out of the water, you dreamily calculate. As for you, it'll be goodbye, New York. Hello, Pulitzer Prize. In the morning, go to any New York location. So, we're going to say the 13th is when she really gets going. We might just skip to the liner and quit like we did last time, to be quite honest. New York locations. Um, I don't have anything in library use at all. I just didn't bother at this juncture. She's got all these letters. She's got a telegram. The last thing we heard from Hutton was he was going to enter the pyramid and he would telegram between that and trying to steal the Carpathos device and he never could telegram. So it's got to be dead at the pyramid. He's got to be at the pyramid. Trapped somewhere. So we need to go on a pyramid expedition. The ship doesn't leave until... Um, so, I'm not going to worry about time, because I don't have enough things to do. I don't want to take a trip to Arkham, particularly. Um, there's no, I don't think there's any good reason to do so. Um, I could go to the university and try to get some information, but I doubt I'll find anything out. Uh, take out that whole $700, we're not going to fail for lack of funds. Actually, Hutton's money... Oh, it's in his money belt. He kept it all with him at all times. So, no, there's no money. But we, we'd, we'd be able to get his car, possibly, if I can make that, that check. Uh, what time is it? 4.47. So, oh. Holt's apartment. 36. All right. So, over the next week, we're going to hit a few places. I'm not going to be too specific about it. But 36, let's see what it has to say about Holt's apartment. Something's wrong. No, this is just, like, his intro. So, yeah, there's um, accessible to Lydia Lau. What can I take? He took all the money out of that place. We could go to E.S. Willett's booksellers, and we could grab an Egyptian book. So this first day, we'll stick to this. 13th, first day, we'll go to the bookstore at 10 a.m. So 10 a.m. on the 13th. Is going to be E.S. Wilt's bookseller, 54. Mark, mark the Holt's apartment off. But I don't think we're going to get started on the cruise until we, um, until next time. Three floors of books, some titles interest you. English, Greek, English, Arabic, English, German. Uh, none of these are going to help me with what I want. There's no English Egyptian. All right, so that's a waste because I'm not going to buy. I'm not going to Athens. How do you get the te- the amulet of Nodens? That's what I want. The amulet of Nodens. Uh, I don't know where you can get it though. Um, I think I've done everything. Let's try the New York Public Library that day too. At 74. Archaeology, Egyptology. Okay, hold on. While not allowing browsers to help librarians for a selection, selection of books on topic, you're, they're busy and earn staff. Only two topics can be researched for visit. You may go to another location and return. All right. Uh, no rules are made. Okay. We'll hit archaeology and Egyptology. 116 and 85. Uh, in the morning here. 
116, it is suggested that the Carpathos device found in 1900 is in fact an Egyptian, of Egyptian origin and design, but was, for some reason, stolen. In fact, some scholars have argued that it is one of the wonder devices of the Atem pyramids. You can make a successful history or hard no half education role. Go to 110. Hmm, interesting. Her education is 70, so that's 45. I got a 10. Nice. All right. So, go to 110. Some of the wonderful devices were said to open secret chambers or panels in the tombs. These chambers were thought to be places that looked like solid rock. No intact device has been found, though, nor have any such chambers been discovered. Okay. I need the Carpathos device before I go to the temple. Her stealth is pretty good. Yeah, I jacked it up to 70. So, yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to need that to break in. All right, that's good to know. Um, so, let me put a note here. Device, then pyramid. I need to have the Carpathos device. Maybe. The problem with that is getting out. Here, let me write a couple more things down. Rope. Uh, lantern. Flashlight. I want a lot of light sources. Uh, Egyptology, 85. Egypt today is an engaging mixture of ancient and modern. Camels and marketplaces are side by side with motor cars and luxurious motels. Hotels. Religions of various kinds play a special role in Egypt, some of them the most unusual in nature. It is best, for example, to avoid the cult of a ten, a mysterious and perhaps dangerous group found in the major cities of Cairo and Alexandria. Bedeker's Guide to Egypt. With its successful library use role, go to 161. All right, that's what I needed this role for, because her library use, I believe, is like 20%. Yeah, she doesn't know much about... which is dumb for a reporter. She failed. So we don't get any more information there. And then the second check... Uh, where is the... You're probably... Number 74... So back to 74 will give us Greece. No, I don't care. Occult. We'll try occult at 41, and we'll do all others, 138. If that's just like, pick one of three, then I'm not going to worry too much about it. 41. Attempts to attempt the appropriate language role for each of the following books. For each successful role, spend two hours and go to the pertinent entry. Um, German, French, Latin, or English. I don't have German or French or Latin. So I guess we'll try an English roll, which her English is 70%. I rolled a 14. God, I could have used that before. Uh, 159. This is reading Marvels of the Spirit World. 159. Here, we'll see if there's anything interesting here at least. But that's pretty much it for... for um, it is said that the spirits of the pharaohs haunt the pyramids and that some unfortunates have even seen them with a su successful spot-hidden roll. What is my spot hidden? Spot hidden, 60. That's not bad. I rolled a 16. With a successful spot hidden roll, go to 182. And you can continue looking through the books, go to 41, or return to the public library. So 182. Ooh. What is this? I don't know if I've seen this before. You find the symbol of the cult of a 10. See image below. The so-called Egyptian death god. You think you may have seen that shape before. To return to the New York Public Library, go to 74 to continue looking for... So there it is. There's the Cult of the Ten symbol. Again, I know this information. Uh, west side of the, the map holds this hidden thing. Um, I think... Where are we? 453. We're going to have to wrap up soon. And I think... Oh, there's a hospital in the McEwner Passenger Line. Nice. There's no real other place to go. Pier 56, Cunard Lines. Let's do that real quick. But the ship doesn't leave for a week. Uh, 104's Cunard Lines ship. Um, line departs each Saturday at noon, reaching Athens and Alexandria. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and purchase a ticket. We're using money from the New York Sun, as this is uh, work. And then we're going to jump ahead to October 17. Jeez. So October 17 
is 187 Cunard lines. And that's what we're going to wrap up today um, with good old Lydia Lau. Bless her heart. I hope she lives. Everybody else keeps dying. So here's Eric Hutton. Let's grab his character sheet. And I think he had, yeah, he's got like a sheet with his background information on it. He gets to go amongst the dead. This this scenario between running it in earlier editions and running it now has eaten up six investigators now. No, five. Uh, Devin Wilson is still alive. Huh, where are my other character sheets? Did I already put them in the dead file? Hmm, maybe I did. We'll still put him on top. We'll put um, Lydia Lau with him. Here's her character sheet. Here's our locations. I'm going to quick clean up here. Yeah, this is New York. No, that's Egypt. Where the hell did New York go? Here's New York. No, that's the Cunard ship line. New York can go on the bottom of these. Here are our calendars. Oh, damn it. I'm really disappointed that he got killed right there. That's that's a super big disappointment. I just I went the wrong way. Lydia's got good jump, got good climb. I'm going to take rope this time. We're not climbing down that hole. She has dreams about falling in this hole. So she's not going that way. So, we will be taking next week. Man, uh, let's say the 14th. We might finish this before the end of the month. I would love the weekend before Halloween. Where's that calendar here? We're on the 14th. Yeah, we're on the 14th. We have the 21st and the 28th. Next week's the 21st. Hopefully we can finish this up next week. Because I would love to move on to the Beit Alazif um, scenario overdue. Closer to Halloween. If not, it'll come after Halloween, depending on how this goes. But... We need to steal the Carpathos device with Lydia if we can. Get her to that pyramid and explore it. Who's going to look for her there? If we can get Hutton's car, even better. But she can park it over a dune or something and hide it. Um, so the plan is, get to Cairo, steal the device, escape to the car, drive to Tel El Amar, take the device into the pyramid, try to get whatever the thing is and then, I don't know, throw it in the ocean. Uh, I don't know what to do at that point. I have no idea. Uh, but, oh my gosh, dogs are going crazy again. It's 4.57, so we're going to wrap up. Let me take a look and see if uh, if there is anybody that I can raid who's doing, like, tabletop RPGs. We've got... No, nobody. People are playing um, video games. Uh, Swaggy Cucumber is just chatting, but she's not doing anything that could be even considered slightly. Does nobody play tabletop on Saturday night? That's so disappointing. I mean, I guess we can go raid Swaggy. She's really nice. So, or we could just finish up. I think we'll just finish up. Much as I would like to raid her. Um, anyway, so, oh my gosh, the dogs, look to this, this side, this side over here, uh, 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 they're gone, okay, whatever, they're barking, uh, so, I want to thank everybody for watching, anybody that comes by and watches on YouTube later, blah, 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 can't talk, YouTube later, also, thank you, we got pretty far with, uh, Hutton, uh, aka Holt, originally Holt, but we changed his name to keep the timeline intact, um, we actually did. We did really well on the trip across. We didn't run into any dangers until we entered the pyramid. And next time we'll be starting with trying to steal the Carpathos device, taking it to the pyramid in hopes of finding whatever this secret pass panel is, whatever, grabbing whatever device is there. I'm hoping that uh, that she's going to be up to it. She's got good climb. She's got good jump. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to. And we're going to bring rope this time. So thanks for watching, everybody. As always, I pretty appreciate it. And, um, yeah, I guess I'll talk to y'all next time.